All right, so hopefully this looks a little familiar to you guys. Yes, it's a fuse box harness. This one's from the EM2. Now ignore all these wire nuts. I don't know what they were doing prior to this. And I'm gonna try and just splice this back together, solder it the way it's supposed to be. You know, hopefully they didn't do too much damage to this harness, but I believe this is the only spot where they were just like messing around. So today's goal is to pretty much take this apart, take off all this old looming. As you guys can see how nasty this looming is. And this rubber grommet is right at the firewall, but it, it seems that a lot of this uh, loom, they already took it off to do whatever the splicing, whatever they were doing here. So the only things we're probably gonna need are probably wire strippers. I like using cutters like this, um, 10 snips and a knife. I think like this is all you guys will need. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. It's not something I'm really gonna record because it's very simple. The only thing I would tell you guys is to make sure you guys use some tape. So if you take this spot off right here, take off all this plastic, make sure to add some tape so that you know exactly where these wires are supposed to be and stuff. So just stay organized and uh, nothing special really. I'm just gonna take off the plastic and then we're gonna take a look and see if we can uh, relocate this fuse box inside. I already made a DIY for this. It was like a four part DIY. You guys can look for it on my YouTube, it's all there. Um, pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so a small update before I continue. Uh, here's where the fuse box used to be. So this was right here. Um, our goal, so like the first thing I wanna do and get out the way is get this fuse box inside the car, right? So I took this off, basically I just cut it like that. This is the firewall, like inside the car before this goes inside the car. Basically we just wanna pull these like this back inside the car now there's going to be some of these wires that are not going to want to pull back in those are the ones we're probably going to have to label number them and then um cut them and then pull back whatever we can and then we're going to have to extend those you see all these right here this one this one you can tell is going to pull right back inside the car without having to extend any of these um this one seems like these three blue are heading out that way so i'm going to have to cut and label these um, the only one I can pull back inside the car is this white one. If we go to the next one, same thing. We're going to have, it looks like we have four wires. So these pull back inside the car, as you guys can see. So same thing for that, number them. Obviously use different numbers in the other one. So you use one, two, and three for these, four, five, six for those. You know what I'm saying? So with this one, it looks like I can pull back four of these and then two red ones are branching off somewhere that way so basically you just keep doing that do that with all those pull back what you can and then extend the other ones and yeah i'll talk to you guys in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right so i went ahead and did let me see one two three four for the connectors i'm gonna go ahead and do this one with you guys this is the last one so i pulled those back already i did have some heading back to this side I had some heading this way, a total of two going that way. I have four going that way so far. So what I did is I have masking tape here or painter's tape. Um, I numbered seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10, whatever. And then the same thing over here, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10. So I did six already, I'm on the seventh one. So we have three blue wires that are going that way. We got to label all three. So I'm going to put seven here. I'm going to grab the other seven, it's right here. Put it on the same wire so you're gonna have two pieces of tape on one wire that should make sense to you guys so there it is double check it nine eight eight seven and seven so i'm gonna grab all three grab my cutters so we're gonna cut those three and then this one we can pull back inside the car those three remember we got to extend all these back inside the car so pretty simple um, I have never done it for the EM2, so this one's gonna be a little different, but um, should be the same. Oh yeah, so I have an update for these wire nuts that they did. They didn't really do anything. They're all going to the same place. Look at this. They just extended it. Officially, the fuse box, this is all fuse box right here, is inside the car now. So we gotta extend these two. Seven from here, we gotta extend it all the way inside. Here is the looming that I use. Yeah, off Amazon. I'll try and leave a link down below. I've left the link plenty of times uh, sizes that I got are quarter inch three quarters 
and I believe, yeah, this one's half inch. So I just got three different sizes because I just see all types of different sizes I need here. So um, I grabbed, I think 25 feet of each. That'll probably be it for today. I'll probably update you guys one more time. When I take this off, I'll, get, I'll show you guys one more thing and um, maybe we'll go test fit this on the car and try to figure out how we're gonna route this on the car. All right, so I brought it over to the kitchen. Uh, I deloomed it, everything's taken apart. Took me about, I wanna say it took me about an hour and a half to two hours. And that was including like, you know, cutting the wires, numbering it. Um, and then just taking everything apart. So two hours doing that. And I didn't extend any wires yet. I didn't solder anything. I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna continue, but I think I will continue tomorrow or tonight. I might actually go ahead and extend all the wires and get that out the way. Once we kind of just mount this on the car, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with everything else. So I'll talk to you guys in a couple days, all right? Let me show you guys the harness. I finished this on Friday night. Um, it's not completely done because I still have to install it on the car. I got to figure out how I'm going to route it. This is the fuse box right here. Um, it used to be like somewhere over here. We pulled it back inside the car. So basically all of this is going to be inside the car. This is going to come out through the passenger door and I'm going to run it through the fender. So this does the front headlight, the passenger headlight, the radiator um, plugs and a couple other things. Yeah, I'll probably have to go over there and show you guys a little better, but um, that's what I'm thinking in my head. If it's set up like the RSX, if it's similar or just a little similar, I can make it work. So um, we'll definitely have to extend a couple more wires, but I think we'll be all right, man. I think that'll be the cleanest way. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be nice. So I'll talk to you guys in a couple hours. I'll probably be heading over there today just to like install it a little bit and see how it's going to turn out. So uh, yeah all right so real quick hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good i got the microphone clipped onto my shirt so it should sound a lot better than before if anything it might be a little too loud i'm not sure if i showed you guys i think i did or i might have a vlog or a footage that i haven't put out yet but anyways here is the engine transmission everything painted it turned out pretty good so i'm really happy with it and i already showed you guys we have a bow cover we have the rbc already painted we have the brackets that go here and here that hold the rack the eps which i have still not painted it's right here uh this is probably going to stay black so probably like a gloss black vht paint on this the rack is going to be silver so that'll be good we do have brand new inner outer tie rods and a shg rack slider so this thing should look pretty good and function a lot better than before. Um, the wiring though, I do have to grab that because I think I have to extend that. And I think what we're gonna do with that is use the old grommet that goes here. This is gonna go here. I think we're gonna run the wire through here, the EPS one. Um, the wiring's right around here for the EPS, which I'll show you guys. And I don't think it's gonna reach. I'm not quite sure where the wiring is. Oh yeah, here it is. So hold up. So basically this is gonna go here on the rack and then this wiring has to go inside the car, all of this right here. So if we were to just, if we were to kind of mock this up, we're just gonna reuse this just like that, um, plug this into the rack and then just run this wire right in. And then obviously we're gonna reloom this and make it look good. So I think that'll work out nicely. So after giving this some thought and I kind of explained this to you guys earlier and hopefully you guys uh, we'll kind of understand a little better now, like my vision. We're not going to come out of this hole anymore. We're going to reuse that for the rack wiring to get that inside. So that'll be perfect. All the wiring is going to come out through here now. So yeah, that's the goal to use this here to bring all the wires out. We're probably just going to run everything here inside the fender, feed this headlight, radiator, and then the uh, driver's side headlight. I know it looks like a mess, but it's really not all we want inside the car is this wiring and this the fuse box i think if i feed this all this out this way i think that might be a little easier yeah i think that's what we're gonna do guys because this is a lot this is a lot of wires to try and fit in this uh small hole right there pause go ahead and grab this tape we're gonna group this up a little better just so it's um a little easier to to um pull through that that hole right there so Kind of just keep it a little more grouped together. Kind of just taped it up real quick. Kind of just go like that. We're going to send this from inside the car 
uh, up to this point right here. So I'm actually gonna plug these in, make sure they're long enough. Uh, my girl's here. I'm gonna have her give me a hand. So I'll have her, I'll probably be inside the car. I'll fish it out to her and then she'll probably just grab them one by one until we get them out the car and then I'll get back to you guys. It's something pretty simple, so I don't think I really have to show you guys that. All right, so there it is. My girl helped me out. She just took off right now. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. This is all we have right here to add to this grommet right here. So I'll probably just cut this open a little bit, um, sneak these wires in there, and then we should be good, man. And I might just make a little hole, like incision right here, close it back up, glue it, and then put that back in there and I don't have to worry about, you know, water getting in or anything like that. And then we'll just use self tappers going all the way across. And I know guys, it's not loomed yet at all, but I am gonna use loom, like the plastic one. We're gonna use probably like this plastic one right here. You can get at Harbor Freight for like $5. I might even have some laying around. Let me show you guys in here. So this is the fuse box right here. So we can either put the fuse box inside the glove box or we might find another spot underneath the dash somewhere if there is a spot. This will reach pretty far if you guys do it like this. I don't know, you could even run it to the driver's side if there's no room over here, like, you know, you have options. So that's that. And here's the, the other fuse box I was talking about, all the green plugs. That goes over there. So hopefully you guys can see that. This blue plug, whatever that's for is for this stuff right here and then i believe you got a couple more plugs these right here plug into that and there's probably another one somewhere i don't know but yeah it was a lot easier to feed it from inside out and yeah that was it and then as long as you group it really good group it like that you know keep it all together you should have no problems so we got a game plan i think that's what's most important looming and all that other stuff is just easy but as long as we got a game plan and everything's figured out i think we're in a good position right now man where we can move forward and start extending whatever wires need to be extended so i'm just going to throw this in here for now and uh we'll deal with this some other day and i think that's really good progress i'm really happy with how this turned out how that's coming out through the door and now we're gonna reuse this hole right here and it won't be left open. The only thing I gotta think of is what I'm gonna cover this with. I don't know, I might have to do something with that and close it up. I wish I would have closed it up in the first place. I don't really know everything and I didn't really do a lot of research to see how other people did it, but this is just the way I'm doing it. So I think next time you guys see me, we might go ahead and continue on this wiring. I might, maybe if I have time tomorrow, I might come back and, and start just um, looming the inside, plugging that all back in, getting all that situated, finding a spot for the fuse box. And then we'll go ahead and extend a lot of these, um, put them where they gotta be. And I think that'll be a good video just to show you guys how I go about doing that. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I don't know, hopefully I helped you guys with something in case you're doing this for your RSX uh ep3 whatever whatever honda it doesn't really matter honestly when you're relocating the fuse box it's pretty much the same thing just relocate it inside the car and rerun your wires however you want so engine bay is painted transmission engine is painted we got that out the way the fuse box is relocated and now we're still working on the harness but that's pretty much all done you still have to find a spot for the fuse box but that should be pretty easy i'm gonna head out guys if you like this video if you're new here subscribe if you're already a subscriber make sure you guys drop a comment that's the best way to like support the channel honestly and if you guys are already doing that I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.